There's no you way this is a card. That's really good, actually. Yeah. Did you sell it right away? No, I put it in a deck because I run them. Oh, okay. I have, like, the actual ones. I was like, mmm, got to do it. Yeah, when I play traditional, I rock that card. It's just so silly. In traditional, I just do go control or, or uh, old school plants. Yeah. Because those are just the two formats I like the most. Ghost tricks get really silly in traditional because you could just run viruses and they just like go destroy your deck. It's not even fair. Alright, now they just want to watch Melee and not talk about cards. But we'll talk about cards anyway! Exactly! I mean, we do have Double Luigi versus DJ Nintendo and the Moon. Okay, nice and double forward air that's yeah. gonna lead to absolutely nothing. Oh! Oh! I'm wrong! Uh, DJ, uh. did not get the ledge. Quite surprising. See, that's another thing is I feel like the magic people always just say the magic is better. Yeah. They're, they got their elitists. We got ours in Melee and 64. And all. I'm fine with Brawl. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a problem with them. So, you like your game, I like my game. Yeah, that's that's my whole thing. Yeah. It's like, like, like what you like. Yeah. I don't go yell at Call of Duty because I like Battlefield. <laughs> like, you could just not spend money on it. It's not a big deal. Yeah, card games are a lot of money. Card games are a lot of money. <laughs> That's why I still run Six Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, these are cheap. No, I'm like, oh, I've had this deck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Especially since now, when the, they came out with the, the structure, structure deck, deck yeah. yeah. You get it for like 10 bucks, or get like the value pack for 20, you can get like the, almost the entire thing. Then you yeah, just you, need you this. You just need to get Kage Musha. Yeah, Kage Musha. Which is like a dollar, so. Yeah. I think it's like 30 cents per Kage Musha, so you spend yeah. like about a dollar on the whole thing. I mean, that's the reason why I got the Light Sworn deck in the first place. Because they came out with a structured deck, and I was like, oh, all these for $10. I'm like, I'm going to take that, put it right here. It's Pokemon cheaper. I don't know how expensive Pokemon is. Yu-Gi-Oh! is just, it's like either the card is worth nothing or it's worth like $150. Yeah. So. Shooting Quasar Dragon, like... 120 or The something. only reason that's worth so much is because it hasn't been reprinted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So dumb. But like when uh when Draco Sack was like at its peak, it was like 140 or something yeah. like that. And what was it? Uh Silent Honor Arc was 60. What? 30 to 100 for a competitive Pokemon deck? That's Damn. crazy. Damn, that's super good. I will I try, try to start Pokemon now. <laughs> you can do that. I got my Lifesworn deck for 10 bucks plus like a couple extra, like five. Yeah, there are definitely some yeah. budget decks nowadays. But like, still, the super good decks like uh, Shadles or like Mad Money now. Yeah. Shadals, whatever they're called. The Dolce's went up too. Yeah, well, the thing about Medulchus is, like, they're good, but then... So they went up, like, a lot at yeah. one point, and then people were like, oh, they're good, but, like, they're not that much better. Yeah, exactly. They used to be really cheap. Like, you could get a good Medulchus oh, deck yeah. like, nothing. Yeah. And then everyone figured out, like, hey, Medulchus are actually good, and then no one knew the matchup. Yeah. Well, they, they didn't have, like, side deck cards for it. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
It's kind of like Ghost Tricks. They were very good, but they couldn't stand alone. That's why I put them in Prophecy. No. Oh. Full arts and foils, you can go up to the hundreds of dollars. Yeah, but like, I'm the kind of person who doesn't care about foils and arts and shit yeah. like that. Just care whether the card's good. Yeah, I know I know people in the Yu-Gi-Oh community who are like, like, oh, it's not a ghost rare or secret rare, I'm not playing it. Yeah. But I'm not like that. I'm like, oh, it was printed in common? I'll take that one. Yeah, exactly. Like what's that? I got a common uh, diffusion wave motion. Do you? Yeah. I actually have an ultra of that for no reason. Really? Yeah. It's such a good card when you run Dark Magician. Because you play, you get like, you special summon the tricky while you have a Dark Magician. Then you can get a Sorcerer of Dark Magic who negates all the spell and trap cards when he attacks. Three ninety five twenty eight for a cheap mono color and mono, mono deck. That's pretty expensive. Yeah. Four thousand dollars to buy one black lotus. Oh yeah, I know about that. But black lotus, like that's only if you're playing like uh, le legacy format. So that card's been man. Ben, ben, oh, we're we talking ben, about ben. magic prices. Yeah. Yeah, those are always expensive. Yeah. So Control's playing Super Hexagon. Yep. Oh, DJ won Fox. Yeah. That may have been the first Fox DJ's gone this uh, tournament. Well, he hasn't had to uh, be anyone else. Collusion! <laughs> that format is too fun. <laughs> yeah, see, the thing is, there are unlimited formats in Yu-Gi-Oh! that are just so dumb. Oh, you, the traditional regular one where nothing's banned? Where nothing's banned, and it's like, oh, uh... It's not Chaos Dragon. What what dragon is it? It's a uh, Chaos Emperor. Chaos yeah. Emperor Dragon. Yeah, I'm destroys boy the, the field and your hand, and then you draw Yada. Yeah. Summon it, attack, and they can't draw. Yeah, they can't draw. It wipes their whole hand. They can't draw. And you just win. Oh no! What you have to do is you set Sangen, yeah. then do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're like super dumb locks. Yeah. Like there's one. Frog OTK. Yeah. There's actually a lot of legal uh, one hit, one turn kills too. Like the uh, was it the Cyber Dragon limiter removal envoy yeah, at the but beginning. Yeah, they're, they're a lot. They're a lot more uh, conditional. Yeah. 